for a range player? Yeah, I'm ready for the driver. Would you range player stand by? Firing in three, two, one, firing. I'm Jack Akavan and I'm a professor in explosive chemistry at Cranfield University. I'm the head of the Centre for Defence Chemistry, where we carry out innovative research and development in high explosives, propellants and pyrotechnics. Examples of our research include synthesis of explosives and energetic polymers using continuous flow nitration, the manufacture of energetic compositions using 3D printing, effect of gamma radiation on explosive compositions, studying the degradation products of nitrocellulose, and the impact of high velocity shockwaves through explosive compositions using gas guns. Here at the Cranfield Ordnance Test and Evaluation Centre, we carry out safety and performance testing of explosives, propellants and pyrotechnics. We also have the capability to manufacture energetic materials. My name is Andrew Claydon and I'm a PhD student at Cranfield University. Cranfield University is the only university in the country to have an explosives manufacturing licence and that makes a huge difference when we're doing this kind of research. This is the Resonant Acoustic Mixer. It's a novel mixing technique which uses a vibrating platform as opposed to traditional mixing blades. This allows us to safely mix high explosive formulations in much shorter timescales than traditional techniques. Cranfield University's expertise in the field of defence chemistry plus access to facilities like these were the reasons why I chose to study here. I'm Christine McGee and I'm a PhD student at Cranfield University. My field of research is in 3D printing of energetic materials. What we have here is a normal 3D printer which uses plastic. You can buy this from Amazon. The filament goes through to a hot end where it's heated to high temperatures and then is deposited onto the bed layer by layer. You can't really do that with energetic materials simply because it's dangerous. So what I've done here with my colleagues at Cranfield is to find a solution and it's a paste printer. The paste printer can handle energetic materials and it can print them just like the plastic printer. It's that kind of problem solving, out of the box thinking and solution finding that really appeals to me. Cranfield University is the only university in the UK which has an explosive licence to store and manufacture explosives and an explosive range. Cotex is an integral part of Cranfield Defence and Security. Firing in three, two, one, firing. With the range facilities that we've got here, plus an extensive suite of instrumentation and diagnostic tools, we can offer PhD students in particular, the opportunity to carry out really complex experiments on large quantities of energetic materials. Explosives, by their very nature, are hazardous materials. Uh, and that's not really changed for the last thousand years. Early days of gunpowder, even to the modern day battlefield with high technology, is still a hazardous material. And my research is to understand the fundamental science of the initiation of explosives. Because if we can understand that, then we can design better, safer explosives. And that means that everybody that has to work with them and be near them is safe. So these are some high-speed images of the initiation of an energetic material. This has never been seen before. This is happening on the microsecond timescale. By looking at these images, by studying this process, we can understand the mechanisms, and that helps us to then design better materials. Besides our explosive chemists, we also have experts in forensics, detection, blast damage, shock physics, modelling and environmental contamination. Cranford University is the only accredited provider of MSCs in explosive and explosion investigation. That's because of a combination of first-class facilities in chemistry at Shrivenham and the ability to investigate bomb scenes in a real-world environment here at Cotec. That adds up to a first-class contribution to forensic science and explosive investigation. I'm Panima Patani and I'm the Programme Director for the Centre of Excellence in Energetic Materials. COEM is a UK government-driven initiative to pull together 
and champion essential national capability in energetic materials such as explosives, propellants and pyrotechnics. Led by the Defence Science and Technology Laboratory, the Atomic Weapons Establishment and the MOD's Defence Equipment and Services, we're working with Cranfield University to bring this into fruition. From nuclear deterrence to fireworks, energetic materials such as explosives play a vital role both in military and civil applications. The technology employed and the expertise needed are wide-ranging. That's why we need such a diverse workforce consisting of modelers, chemists, physicists, engineers, forensic scientists, amongst others, to meet this challenge. COEM's main driver is to nurture the next generation of leaders and subject matter experts in this field. A collaboratory, if you like, where researchers can exchange ideas and resources, drawing on each other's strengths and provide support in their areas of weakness. We are developing our Wiltshire campus to become the UK Centre of Excellence for Detonics. Together we are at the cutting edge of technology and are key players in the UK study of energetic materials. <laughs>